The Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell once again hinted that potential interest rate cuts are on their way, saying the confidence needed for lowering interest rates is not too far. Shin se has this report. The Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell once again signaled the possibility of interest rate cuts within 2024, noting that the Fed is, quote, not far from the confidence needed to ease rates. Speaking at the Senate Banking Committee on Thursday, Powell outlined that the Federal Reserve is poised to gradually lift its restrictive policies once it is assured that inflation is steadily declining towards its 2 percent target. He underscored that this confidence is within reach. Powell's remarks came only a day after his testimony before Congress, where he presented a similar outlook on rate reductions. However, in his latest statements, he hinted more strongly that the moment to act on such confidence is nearing. Despite this, Powell maintained a cautious approach regarding a specific timeline, underscoring that the fight against inflation continues. He stressed the need for further progress in achieving the Fed's inflation objectives before any policy adjustments are made. In January, the U.S. Consumer Price Index rose 3.1 percent on year, falling short of the Federal Reserve's target. Powell's statements have injected a dose of optimism among investors anticipating future rate cuts. This optimism was mirrored in a stock market's performance, with the S&P 500 achieving a new record high at Thursday's close on the New York Stock Exchange. The S&P 500 index rose 1.03 percent to 5,157.36. So the sentiment today is mostly Powell's uh, testimony uh, before Congress, um, both yesterday and then the Senate today. The Dow Jones also experienced growth of 0.34 percent, while the Nasdaq Composite jumped by 1.51 percent. Looking ahead, the Federal Open Market Committee is scheduled to meet on March 19th and 20th, where a detailed policy statement and an update on the interest rate outlook is expected. Shin Se-byuk, Arirang News.